Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was sitting here thinking I was getting ready to go to bed. So I had to plop my hat back on my head so I wouldn't scare anybody. And I feel like this is the image I was getting in my head. There is a man. I don't know who you are. You are really getting nervous. You're really afraid. Because your fear is of losing your wife. Your wife seems to be losing interest in you. And you are getting really nervous now. And you're afraid you're going to lose her for good. The scripture that came to my mind was Hebrew chapter 11. And that scripture says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All I can say to you is trust in God. Don't lean to your own understanding. Trust in God. Don't trust your ears. Trust in God. Don't trust her actions. Trust in in God. Don't trust her attitude toward you. Trust in God. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ask or think according to the power that works in you. Work that power God gave you. You're filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. As the old folks used to say back in the way back in the day, pray mighty, keep praying. Don't cease. Don't be weary in well-doing. Keep praying. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. I'm going to repeat it according to the word. Don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. When it pats two cents. When it comes to prayer, don't faint. When it comes to faith, don't faint. Don't oscillate according to her actions. Don't oscillate according to her words. Don't oscillate even if it looks like someone else might take your place in her heart. God knows how to make somebody show their behind. God knows how to expose ugliness in a person. And God knows how to convince one that someone is God's choice for them and the best choice. And there will come a day where she will have to admit what a good man you really are. Trust God. The other thing I want to say to you is even though you're trusting God to bring her back, it can go either way. If she is determined to disobey God, God, if you keep your spirit clear of all guile, if you keep resentment far from you, and you pursue forgiveness, no matter what she does, no matter how evil or, or how cruel it may seem, no matter how heartless she may seem to be, and no matter how much disregard she shows you, forgive. In your forgiving, you are positioning yourself for an even greater blessing. So you may seem like, well, this is the end of your world because she was your universe. No. God is your universe. The whole world belongs to God and the fullness. And everybody that dwells therein 
and God can handpick somebody for you you never knew you could have. And whoever God picks will make that person pale, the one that left you. You'd be like, God, thank you for making her leave me. But it, de it depends on God's purpose. God works in purpose. And God will place in your life, whether it's her returning to you or God replacing her with someone else a thousand times better for you and to you, God will make sure that the next one, whether it's her or someone else, will keep you on your path to your destiny. See, drama, nonsense, that is to keep us off of our path. But God is going to keep you on your path if you keep your mind stayed on Him. If you keep your focus on Him. If you keep your heart united deeply with Him. You shall not be moved. God bless you. Be encouraged. No matter what. No matter what the wind blows your way. No matter whether it smells sweet or if it stinks. Trust God.